What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Springdale. Let's play season four, episode number five. And I did a tiny little bit of gridding, kind of messing around with some stuff off camera. I wanted to find a way to kind of shimmy this avenue underneath here and then get this connected up, start to plan out our bridges going across the water towards what will be other parts of the city. I also had kind of a, an odd time connecting these in, so I bent these roads a little bit weird through here. So it's gonna get a little funky over by the water, but uh, I'm okay with that. We might curve it. Looks like I had my zoning really screwed up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Wow, why? Maybe I painted these zones after? It doesn't make any sense why all those really small houses moved in. Usually they'll take advantage of the zoning that they have access to. Um, what I did want to do, and this is totally an experiment right now, because we have very little residential demand, but I want to start converting over to high density residential. So what if, what if we did this all at once? So let's break out our district tool and redefine, make sure that our district is kind of right on the lines here. That's good there. We can even continue this out that it covers those houses right on the waterfront. Make that nice and sharp. Doesn't have to be, but it doesn't hurt. Certainly, nope, oh, I went a little bit overboard there. I kind of want that to be kind of right down the middle of the road so that we make sure anything that we zone off within there, I keep screwing that up. Undo that. What I want to do is I want to go into make this self-sufficient buildings. It's going to rebuild everybody. And totally an experiment. Let's see if we can rezone all this as high density residential. So let's do that. Then we'll do this. We'll zoom out. Make sure all that's covered. So this is going to pretty much instantly move everybody out. I don't know if this is going to work. We've got a little bit of money sitting in the bank, so hopefully we can afford to do this right now. It's going to screw up our power grids something awful. I was going to do that kind of block by block. As you can see, it is causing all sorts of havoc. Let's get our power grids connected back up as best we can in the short term. Let's do that. We'll come down the coast here. Get that connected up we can hopefully start spreading power to all the different houses. And then this is not connected, so let's just connect this grid up. I noticed that we have some crime problems up in the industrial district, because we did add a fire department up there. We did not add a police station, and we totally separated it from the town. So let's give them a little bit of police coverage up here. Hopefully they can help out with that. And then let's see what happens with our uh, our population here. So again, we're going for a massive downtown area with an even more massive, or I guess equally massive central park. Um, kind of started framing some stuff out for that. It's going to be a big one. But hopefully we will have our population move back in pretty quick. Because we're losing money. We're losing money bad. Um, I'm hoping that that wasn't too drastic of a change. We are slowly seeing resident buildings move in. So let's let this play for a minute at three times speed. I'll time lapse this, see if our money settles down and our population starts to stabilize. We were at 8,000. Apparently we moved out 6,000 people by uh, demoing all those houses and uh, making them self-sufficient buildings. They're low level now, so you won't see a lot of uh, green grass and things like that growing on them. Eventually we will also uh, enable the high-tech housing when we unlock that, and I believe population 11,000. So we're losing $4,000 per period right now. Let's, uh, again, we'll throw it in a quick time lapse and we'll see 
um, what it takes to uh, to get back to where we were. And hopefully uh, we won't go in the negative as a result. If we do, I will uh, reload the save and do that a little bit uh, smarter. But I was thinking that might be a nice quick way to do it if it lets me get away with it. We, we shall see. We'll be right back. All right, so our population is starting to stabilize again. We've definitely had some uh, some problems cropping up. The other thing was we had a huge commercial demand. So what I did was I rezoned this as high density commercial. And then I cleared out this space right here, which is going to be our central park, I'm thinking. Um, so this should be a really good uh, space for it. We might tunnel this road underneath. We might provide maybe some footpaths over the top. Or we could do a little trick here. Nobody's using this anyways right now. So let's delete this road with the bike paths. And then what we can do here is let's do grass lined. Let's do tree lined streets here. We'll come out 20 units on either side. And then we'll connect this with a little piece of regular six lane road. And that will provide crosswalks right there in the middle of this strip for people to, uh, to cut across. It'll tell the uh, the AI basically that this is a spot where they can cross. They don't have to walk all the way down. And then that way we don't have to have any footpaths over the top. It doesn't create any intersections or anything like that. It doesn't create any stoplights. And keeps the look relatively consistent. We've got the trees here for the park. That works. I kind of like that. But I think that's a pretty good spot that's relatively central to our city. And we can have some good high density stuff kind of cropping up uh, all around it. Population is almost back up where it was. We already unlocked the 8,000 population milestone, but we moved a ton of people out to convert all this over to self-sufficient high density residential. That will start to fill out completely. And then once it does, then I'll start to slowly kind of convert over neighborhood by neighborhood. I think everything on this side of the river is going to be uh, self-sufficient buildings and then maybe we can have some old-school apartments and older buildings kind of across the uh, the waterfront there so I think that's a pretty good place for us to be right now let's break out the district tool and fix something here so we're gonna change crony park around just a little bit and I'm gonna extend it kind of that way or maybe I'll move it this, uh, this residential neighborhood that will spin up over here on the other side of the park. But either way, I don't want to call this Crony Park because this is going to be our central park here. So let's clean that up just so that we have a logical name for it. Now, when Park Life does come out to consoles, you actually have a separate park painting brush which you can overlap with districts, but we'll actually district this and call it Central Park. We'll do that for now. I'll go come and clean this up afterwards. We want to run that kind of right. Whoops, right along the road there. Fix that. Do this as best we can, and then we can come in and clean it up with a smaller brush afterwards. So let's go to the small brush. Clean up this line so it's right down the street. You can actually snap these on PC to the roads, which is nice. I don't think that's an option here for the district painting brush. If it is, 
would be the first time I was unaware, so let me know in the comments if uh, there is a way to snap this to the roads. I don't think that there is. We've got that all cleaned up. We will move Crony Park over there at a later time. Let's extend our water network out. We've got some money in the bank again. Not enough to do a major metro overhaul yet, but we're not really where we need it just yet. Let's just get this water covering both sides of the park so that as we start to spin up some more neighborhoods over here, we'll at least be ready to, uh, to water some of that. That should be good for now, and we can start to uh, build off streets over here, and we'll get an idea for what that's all going to kind of look like. In the meantime, let's do one more thing here. Let's break out the tree brush. We'll increase the size and the strength, maybe decrease the size a little bit, and let's fill this park in with some trees, and we'll do a couple different types. Let's do that. Just throw some of these in there, just to kind of give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of greenness and life in the short term, where we actually convert this over into a full park. And uh, while we're at it, one more quick change: uh, Inspector Tool Districts, and let's rename this Central Park. Again, we are calling this a district right now, but there's a separate district, or I should say park type tool that we'll be painting over that area to define it as a park, and then we can drop park objects and things like that into it. In the short term, though, I think that's a pretty good start. That has filled out nicely. That's good. Maybe we could even move the cemeteries out of there, put them into Central Park, because they're certainly not out of place in the park. And uh, that would allow us to kind of zone off a little bit better with some more residents. We could put some of this and set this up to uh, high density commercial when we're ready. Got the high school kids there. I believe that's what, a Dia High? It is, Dia High School. So you can see we've still got, you know, problems that we've created by moving all those people out. We have problems with not enough workers. That building actually just solved that problem. So some of these are going to get abandoned in the short term, but we've got the population climbing up. We've got massive industrial and commercial demand. We've got we've got massive industrial and commercial demand. So let's start zoning off on this side of the park and start filling up some office space. And maybe we could do some massive office buildings actually down here south of the park might be kind of cool. So let's take pause for a moment and kind of see where we're at um, before we dive into that project and look into the info views and just see if there's any uh, glaring problems that we need to attend to before we dive into there. All right, so a quick look through our info views. Again, just to see if there's any glaring problems. Electricity is in the green, as is water, fire, and police coverage. I do want to upgrade these to larger stations. So we have our police and our fire right there. They're the small uh, initial stations. They're covering okay, but we're definitely gonna need some more coverage. And maybe as we spin up neighborhoods, to the left side or west of Central Park, we'll look at adding in uh, some of the bigger buildings, upgrading these a little bit down the road. The hospital too, we look at healthcare coverage, that's right across the street. Those are all the smallest buildings. We'll only have one of each in the city, but they are, if I'm not mistaken, $60,000 a piece. And with 195000 in the bank, we'll wait a little bit before uh, we tackle upgrading those, because that would eat up all but $15,000 of our money. Education-wise, we've got decent coverage for elementary, but not enough of them. High school, we're starting to creep into the yellow, and university we have not dropped in yet. But we definitely want to find a spot for a university campus. Maybe that will be um, kind of a start to the next episode. We'll find a little spot for that. Population-wise, unemployment is crazy because we've got massive amounts of demand that we've got to start meeting. And I want to zone off at least a little bit of office space, though those are going to have trouble 
maintaining employees until we get people into university. So we'll do a little bit of office zoning, commit it to IT cluster, and then get working on the uh, universities in the next episode. Happiness wise, everybody's pretty happy except some of these buildings that just moved in that have, as you can see, worker problems. Average land value, definitely good here in our central artery and we're in the blue, so not too bad. Obviously land value very low up here where it's all polluted near the industry, but we'll be moving that out slowly but surely. Parks and plazas, unique buildings. We definitely need to get working on that, but that costs a fair amount of money. And as far as tourism, we've got a couple commercial buildings that are drawing in some tourists, but not a whole lot of that. So we'll get working on that in the next couple episodes. Traffic flow wise, we're pretty good. Definitely this uh, main artery is you can expect is some of the heaviest traffic and we've got traffic turning on and off of there, but we'll be upgrading those to one ways and improving that hopefully as we go. And in addition, maybe we can look at some other um, avenues coming off the, uh, the highway. We'll probably use this to come down in the city just so we can split some of that traffic up and not have it all using that one main artery. Garbage processing is getting into the red, so we'll want to add another recycling plant soon. And pollution wise, we know where it is. It's where the sewage is getting dumped out and in the industry. So as we start to move that out, that will improve in those areas. Noise pollution wise, commercial and industry and the highway are the only things that we need to worry about so far. Though we do have a bit of noise spilling over from the roads right now. That should get a little bit better, hopefully, as we convert over to one ways. And that's about all we need to worry about for right now. Um, so let's block off one quick bit of neighborhood here. So let's define one quick bit of zoning. And I think we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna move out all these low density residential buildings and we're gonna convert this little triangle here into some IT infrastructure. So let's break out our zoning tool. We will go all the way up here We'll go with the selection tool and we're just going to dezone all of this. Let's mark it in office space. And then we'll create a district for IT. The district tool we will go, you know what, I'll do this brush to start just so we can get some nice smooth lines right down the middle of the road. And then we can fill it in with a larger tool. And then we'll switch over to large and hopefully that will let us fill this in correctly. Let's switch to medium for a second because it's getting a little crazy there and we'll come in like that. Now we'll switch to large. That should kind of snap where we need it to to fill in all that available space. So we still are going to move Crony Park. I'm going to make that the residential district over here. We'll do commercial north and south of the park. I think that should work. And let's rename this one before I forget. So there we go. Adia Heights. That's going to be our new IT cluster. Let's Mark that off before I forget. Adia, thank you for all the support. Always great in the comments, active on the Discord, and now a patron of the channel. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. So let's hit play. Three times speed. Watch all these buildings move out and watch our first skyscrapers come in. Um, we shouldn't miss a beat, though. Let's, for right now, throw a temporary university in. And we'll throw it right in the corner of Central Park for now just so that it is relatively accessible. It's getting power, it's getting water. We're totally gonna move this achievement. Interesting, apparently I had uh, not unlocked that achievement before. I always had some regular office space in uh, my cities, so that's great. Good development for today. Let's extend our water network down here.
And let's get that all covered nicely. We don't want them complaining about water. We want them complaining about not enough educated workers, which is what they are going to be complaining about for sure, because we only just now have our first university students attending. Good news is they should be a little bit more productive than the last town, since we don't have any creative arts buildings yet. Dia, you know what I'm talking about. Um, though, honestly, they're just they're just as uh, just as bad as the the creative arts kids. Look at them. They're all out front. They're not inside where the learning is happening. You gotta go inside to learn. We need you to get educated so that we can populate these beautiful, holy cow, these beautiful high-rise buildings. Just for a sense of perspective to see how big they are. Can I get a feel for how big they are next to a cougar? So, there's our Santa Rico hill cougar. Back again. She was uh, lucky enough to make it out of uh, the disasters in the last city. And she joins now the, uh, the Springdale Doe, which is the town's official mascot. But of course, we could not bring our cougar along for the adventure. So they're both here keeping an eye on things. I think that's a good spot to break, though. So if you enjoyed the video, likes, comments, shares, all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. And tune in next time when we'll zone out some more residential space, keep people cranking along, and we'll be working our way towards the 11,000 population milestone. Until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.